Bonjour, Francis ladies. As a woman over 50, would you like to be stylish, but find that many trends are frumpy, ugly, and flattering, and just plain unwearable? Or have you succumbed to examples or advice that tell you that frumpy is acceptable? Is frumpy the new black? We women over 50 want to look stylish as we get older. We want to look comfortable, yes, but we also want to look chic and suave. I am going to show you 10 style mistakes in both your clothing and style approach that are making you frumpy. And stay to the end for the one piece of advice I always give that is guaranteed to dump the frump from your life forever. Let's start with our first mistake principle, giving up. Have you given up? Because I hear from many of you who tell me that it is not worth making the effort. Joe from California wrote to me and said, Marianne, I've given up. I no longer make an effort. I'm a grandmother. I've been with my husband for 40 years. Why do I need to make an effort? I find it so sad to hear comments like this. To Joe, I said, it's never too late to try, but always too early to give up. Always seek the best version of what you can be. In France, style is not for just for yourself, but also as a courtesy for those around you. Good style and elegance can elevate all, all around you. So be that, that is needed to elevate your surrounding by your effort and your example. It is easy to get swept up by the trend about what everybody else is wearing. There is a saying that a lie often repeated eventually becomes accepted as a truth. And the same is true in style. A quick look at the most popular pieces is enough to make you cry. I mentioned in another video things that a French woman never wear, and that includes ripped jeans, leggings, and Birkenstocks. We see this so often now that we end up believing that they're beautiful, but they're not. So from a principle to our first item of clothing, a tiered dress. With this dress, not only do those frills make you shapeless, but to add insult to injury, they make you look larger also. It's really not stylish. But could be worse. This dress could be worn with Crocs or Birkenstocks. Oh, no words. Please stop dressing like you've given up. Remember the first principle. What can you wear instead? I found for you a dress that doesn't make you look like an shade, and you can wear a bra. Wear dresses that are nipped in on the waistline, that you can belt, that show off your silhouette, that are feminine. Our next time mistakes that make you look frumpy is wearing a split maxi dress. This particular size split dress comes of course in various colors and prints. It is long, it is loose, it is split, it is absolutely shapeless, absolutely no redeeming feature whatsoever. Long, loose, shapeless dresses do not flatter anyone and will make you look like the queen of frump. There, I said it, don't wear them. If you wear this style of dress, your silhouette will disappear. You will look like you've lost your way, like you no longer care about how you look. I care deeply about how you look. So you should care about how you look too. And of course, the excuses for wearing this type of dress are, I need comfort, I want to feel cool, I don't want to show too much. So I found this dress for you, 100% cotton, so you will be cool. It has straps, so you can wear it in the sun. It is fully lined, so you won't show too much. But it has a waistline, we'll be able to see your beautiful silhouette. Style doesn't have to be frumpy. Next on our list of style mistakes that make you look frumpy, the Shacket. What is a shacket, you may ask, Marianne? If you don't know, I'm delighted. Well, between you and me, it must have taken a genius to put shirt and jacket together to make a shacket. You may also tell me, Marianne, you always tell us to wear a shirt as a jacket. Yes, your shirt has a jacket, but not a shacket. A jacket that looks like a shirt, it's thick, it's got big pockets here, and it looks like, um, I don't know, mm, frumpy. To me, shackets are manly. They hide your silhouette. They are cut straight. And again, that's going to make you look shapeless, hiding your silhouette. What can you wear instead, you ask Marianne? I advise you to wear a jacket or a shirt over your tops. Ta-da! We have looked at a few pieces of clothing. Now, back to our style mistakes principles. This one is low standards. It is just as easy to copy other people's 
low standards in their behavior as it is to copy their low standards in their style. Shirley from Australia wrote to me, Marianne, all around me, everybody wears frumpy clothes. Why should I look different? If it's okay for them, it's okay for me. But I ask you, is it okay to follow other people's low standards? I get comments on my YouTube channel all the time. Comments such as, you can wear what you like, it doesn't matter. But it does matter. Style matters. And here's why. You should be trying to elevate yourself, not drag yourself down to other people's low standards. Celebrities in the news display their low standards in behavior and style every day. But if you are following me, you know that we are all about elevating our style, all about trying to be better, making an effort. So I said to Shirley and I said to you, raise your standards. Be proud of who you are and who you are about to become. And now back to style fashion mistakes that make you look frumpy. We have the casual loose, elasticated waist, wide leg, cropped pants. Well, this piece has it all. It is casual, it is cropped, wide leg, and it has an elasticated band. What not to like? The elasticated waistband will add bulk to your tummy area, to your thighs, and to your bottom. Not aesthetically pleasing. Next, loose. Oh, I don't like that term. Loose will make you look shapeless. You will disappear under this excess fabric. Next, cropped. Cropped legs will shorten visually your legs. I have told you many times you have to be careful about cropped trousers. But now there's something even worse, wide legs. So let me explain something to you now that I have explained already hundreds of times in the 10 years that I've been teaching about style. A pair of trousers that is cropped and that is wide will shorten your legs, make you look wider at the same time. Please stay away from those. For summer, why not go for full length trousers in cotton linen blend? They are comfortable, you will look stylish, you will look like you make an effort and care about your style. For those of you who say, but Marianne, I want to be comfortable. I tell you that style does not have to be uncomfortable. Our next style mistake principle is be careful who your role models are. There are many style role models that we can choose to follow and emulate. Who are yours? Always remember that every single example of style you see will affect your own style. Your style eye will become accustomed to what you see the most. If you choose to view not so good examples, your style will follow. It will deteriorate. It is so easy to view shabby and frumpy styles as acceptable if you see it on a daily basis. Instead, fill your internal vision board with the best that you can see. Fill your internal style chatter with the best commentary that you can hear. Stop listening to the little voice in your head that tells you, all oh, that will do Oh, why make an effort? Uh, whatever. Instead, replace it with that little voice in your head that says, why not push the envelope today? Oh, let's try this beautiful outfit. The same way that you declutter your wardrobe from your frumpy pieces, declutter your role model list to keep only those who want you to elevate your style. Our next time mistake piece that will make you look frumpy are those drawstring pants. For the side effect of the elasticated waistband, I will refer you to my previous example. But these trousers also have a drawstring that dangles down from your waistband. It draws the attention towards your crotch, right where you don't want the attention to be. Not exactly flattering now, is it? And these trousers have loose legs that taper towards the ankle. I don't mind that too much. But to finish the look, we have cuff hemline. They couldn't have added anything worse. In French, we say, on aura tout vu. This look reminds me a little bit of the bottom part of a baby grow. Cute on a baby, but not so cute on women over 50. What do you think of these trousers? Is it a look for women who have given up? Comment below. What can you wear instead? I found for you these lovely, flattering linen trousers. They will keep you cool and you will look fabulous. As I like to say, dumb the frump, say yes to chic. And next style mistake piece that makes you look frumpy is joggers. Now, yes, if you go to the gym, you wear joggers, that's fine. But as they wear, don't you think that looks frumpy? Mm, yes. The cut of them are not flattering. Because really, when you wear those for your sport, for your jogging, it is the comfort and the activity in question that matters. Not so much style. They don't flatter your bottom. It's loose around the bottom area. It's loose at the front. It's loose around the legs. And it has cuffs at the ankles. Ugh. So what can you wear instead? Well, why not wear 
a simple pair of jeans. And here I found a lovely bootcut style jeans for you. Tantra at the bottom, they flatter your legs. They actually lengthen your legs. We love that because those joggers, they shorten your legs with those nasty cuffs. The next style mistake principle is something I tell my friendship ladies, my clients, my students all the time. If it's not a wow, it's a no. This advice alone is guaranteed to elevate your style every day and help you avoid those style mistakes that make you look frumpy. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one. 